All right, and we have to remember here, Neon Annihilator needing to win two matches here in this tournament to win this championship, and as opposed to Utopia, only needs to win one. Doors sealed, we're waiting on the ready buttons from our contestants, and we'll get this action underway. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, fight! And here we go, the spinner revving up from Neon Annihilator, having done so much work for them up to this point. Can they make Utopia fall? Oh boy, that was Standing on their hind Utopia. legs there. Robots go flying for the first time this match. Yeah, that was the first time I've seen a Neon Annihilator airborne right now, and Utopia's doing a great job. Uh, get those nice hits by Utopia, but Neon Annihilator just gonna keep hammering away with that spinning weapon here, still spinning strong. That spinning blade seeming to hold its own against the drum of Utopia here, sending Utopia flying across the arena. I mean, look at this Neon Annihilator just, again, Moving Utopia around, juggling Utopia. This is looking great for the judges at this point. Making some nice hits, nice jabs against Utopia. I'm not sure who's favored when they go head to head with their weapons here, but Utopia back up against the uh, portal that might knock them out here. I mean, again, there's some great drama coming up from both competitors. You can see that Utopia, when they get under with the drum, that is making a nice little jump, but I think the weight of Neon Annihilator is enough. Uh, to keep him just grounded, so it's almost like this weird, uh, Mario jump, if you will, that's happening when Utopia goes right under them, just like that. We're starting to see pieces of the frames of our robots scattered across the arena here, Justin. Oh, another hit by Utopia on Neon Annihilator. Those are some great, massive hits on Neon Annihilator. Since spinning a little bit, Utopia might be on the back foot here. Let's see if they can rebound. Again, Neon Annihilator hammering back using that blade, but I see it starting to slow down a little bit and lose momentum. It's got to go back up and get back to speed. Nice little hit there on Utopia as well. Sparks flying here, but both weapons still spinning. Uh, we see a lot of tire chunks uh, flying off of Neon Annihilator, but still moving strong in this matchup. And again, Utopia, uh, wait a minute, Utopia is, oh man, I thought Oh, they got control moving. again. I think playing possum there in that bit. That's a bit close call, and I don't know about that positioning there. You do not want your back against the wall where you could get ringed out. Again, both teams, again, looking pretty aggressive here. Uh, and again, both doing some significant damage to each other. Uh, so this is maybe going to come down to judge's decision with about 30 seconds left in this matchup. We're coming down to the final seconds of the match here. Who left the biggest impression? It seems like it was such an even matchup. We still have time for the knockout, Brandon. Don't hold your breath yet. We still have a lot of robot competition with about 15 seconds left in the fight. Referee about to come down to the 10 seconds. There's a 10 second in. countdown. And I think it's going to go down to judges' decision here. What a match here on this penal weight division. I think the judges have another tough job ahead of them here, Justin. Yeah, that drum looks mangled on Utopia and on the other side. Just tire chunks everywhere by Neon Annihilator. This has been a great match. But again, if Neon Annihilator wins this, we are going down to a second match. Uh, but if Utopia wins, this is it. Utopia winning the championship. Brandon, I believe you have the information on this one. And announcing your winner of the match by unanimous decision. Give it up for Neon Annihilator! We're having a round two, baby! Neon Annihilator winning seven matches in a row. Can they go for number eight? And again, I see where the judges are.